Okay, that should be working. And now, what we've got is we are going to charge this from this uh, 3 volt battery and do it at, well, it's 3.79. It's nearly, um, nearly 4 volts. All right, so what I've done is I've changed the top element, the top electrode from carbon to zinc. And I just got a, a pile of zinc and poured it down some metal and made some zinc strips, which you can see, and they're all curled up in there. Uh, let's see if we can see this. Oh, if you look in the top, there's plenty of surface area there. That's a double layer. There's actually... Uh, one layer below the other. Uh, can you see them bubbles rising from there? I don't know what we're doing. I think that's hydrogen. Let's put a match on it. No, let's not put a match on it. Uh, see how this goes like that. Where are we? There we are. Right, so now that's, uh, that's at 3.77 volts and it's got a zinc electrode on the top and a carbon electrode on the bottom. Now the top electrode has a very great deal of surface area. I just poured this um, zinc as you can see it's all it's all um, run out like it's been a, a drip or a river and I put on a sheet of metal that was leaning over on its side and just poured the zinc across it and it came down as uh, a lot of little rivulets. Uh, rivulets? Is that what you call them? Rivulets? And made all of this um, zinc strip. It's only thin. I suppose it's oh less than a millimetre thick. But I bought a, a pure zinc ingot from the internet. And I... From the internet. Always from the internet. And I um, poured it down. I melted it and just poured it down sheet of metal. Now, I don't know what sort of voltage we're getting out of this now, but let's take that off and put that back on. And that is 1.83. Well, that's a lot higher than it was before. I wonder what sort of, um, what sort of power we're getting out of it. Which way is which? Is a, uh, a diode, a um, a thingy bobble. Uh, let's take that. I don't know where to take what. Can't. I've got. No, I need more wire. I need to hook that up to there, plug it into there, and then plug it into there. Two, two places. Well, I wonder if I could do it like that. That doesn't light up. That does. Look at that. I wonder how long that would last. Yeah. I don't know how many volts this, this uh, lamp is, but it's, um, I don't know. Might last a very long time. Um, so we'll come back three days from now and see how it goes. Three days? A week? Four weeks? Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, what we've got here this morning is the big Makona jar. And uh, if you look at that, you can see that it's um, separated there, right at the top where the uh, zinc element is. You'll see it's very clear. And just below that, it's a uh, slight yellow. And right at the bottom, it seems to be pretty bright red. But, uh, yeah, anyway, with that, I'm wondering if I should have the uh, bottom uh, electrode right on the bottom so as it's actually deep into the solution. But see, it's it's going pretty well at the moment. As uh, I, I have here, I have 89 milliamp hours and uh, 
that was struck at a uh, a value. We got 90 million amp hours, but that was struck at a value of uh, it's 1.2 volts coming out of there at the moment. Now, if I switch this off, um, I don't know if you can see that. That's a 10 uh, a 10 10 watt 8 ohm uh, resistor there. And that's where the power is running through to uh, put a load on the on the cell here. And at the moment, it's got well 91 milliamp hours. Uh, it's MAH. Yep. And uh, the battery is what 3.4? No. Well, that's that's uh, milliwatts. The battery is 1.1 volts. What was that? That's 91, 92 milliamp hours. Uh, is that 34 or 340 milliwatt hours? I don't know. Anyway, uh, if I turn it off here. I can turn off, turn it off and turn it back on, but I'll put it in the volts. Now, if I turn it off here and it stops draining, immediately it goes up to 1.8 volts. Uh, it's still in there. So we'll just turn that back on again. All right, there it's on. It's gone down to 1.1, 1.11. I don't know which is right, but, you know, we're seeing there. But, yeah... That's what we've got at the moment. I am wondering if I put more carbon electrode area in the bottom, will it make it put out more power? More amps, as you would say? I don't know what amperage it has, but we can check that maybe later on. But there we are for the moment. That is sitting in the uh, bromide electrolyte. And at the top, you can see uh, it's pretty clear. The uh, electrolyte is clear, and as you go down just below the uh, zinc electrode, it goes a little yellow, and that's dirt on the thing. It's a piece of paper, I think. And that is at the bottom there. It's a bit of glue. It doesn't matter. But anyway, there's our top electrode. We've made it out of the zinc strips, like I, I ran them down a sheet of steel, uh, pouring hot zinc, melted zinc, and it came out in nice ribbons like that. Alright, well that's it for the moment. I'm going to leave this running. Uh, we should have <coughs> many hours from now by the look of it, how much actual is in there.